everybody, Olav here, and welcome back to Deponia. So last time, we got in contact with Cletus, which was awesome. Um, we got a promise of something. Rufus, of course, wants to go to Elysium, but everybody tells me can't. Rufus don't want to hear that. Uh, but we have to get Goal and take her to the Upper Ascension Station. Uh, and goal is in here, or was in here, um, that's, that's, that's not good. But where is goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo! Look at you! Finally, I brought you to justice. I what didn't do anything. It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof that of any of that, you might stupid have been idiot. Us. Theft. I'm innocent. Yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for goal. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me. It was me. Hi, guys. Who found the Elysian? Uh, Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel. None other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus. Bailiff Argus. Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? Well, Don't yes. Don't threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wemzel. Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Way to go, yeah, a hole. Really? Well done. Shut up. You you can let me out, right? No great in the world can hold me back. <clears throat> there, it moved while you were blinking. Right. Um, I have a cat, a balloon filled with life and gas, tranquilizer, espresso. Maybe if I use the hand torch if on I it? I weld it shut, I'll never be able to open it again. No, but you could use that to cut it open. Never! And Tony is not... Maybe... Oh, aha! Uh -huh. What was that? Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Cat up the tree! Fires... People. Slide down the pole. Fire right. control mold activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed uh -huh. up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Come. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we need to go to Wendell's. Wenzel. Rufus. Wh Wenzel. Or what whatever are you his name. doing here? What am I doing here? Ha! You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please let me explain. No, you spineless traitor. It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Ah! Tony? You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally, at a loss for words, I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think. There is an easy explanation for all this. What? No, no. I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? The oh, Elysian. So your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? Why are you dressed like that? Well, um... I thought, uh, uh, 
And who the heck uh -huh. is Cole? No one, really. I mean, she's not even working properly. What the? Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the basement. In the basement? Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. <laughs> In the cupboard? In the basement. Goal! Wardrobe. Too small. Just too small. Well, yeah, yeah it I was know. pretty Don't cramped. Worry. I'll get you out of here. Open up, Organon! But you're already inside. No excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the Resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. We haven't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. How is she smoking a cigarette in the shower? Uh -oh. I have to think fast. The finding rod on the door will lock it. Yes. Haha. Oh. oh. Shit. What? Well, now as it is written, our hero was smitten and rescued the maiden from impending doom. On a horse made of steel, evil guys on his heels, he rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom. She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less, and the whole part concerning the uppercut scare can be pinned at least to some extent on her damaged brain and plan. Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's up? Who's gonna care? What a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopper bubba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't take it personally. No, <laughs> I just need to find some kind of way to like, and shame? a way to get goal on it. Let's go! I, I was gonna say, I'm like, is, is he saying that she is a heavy load? Because I don't think she would appreciate that. Ah! Oh, come on. Ah! Really? Oh. oh, that was quite a drop. Luckily, I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Oh, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. Doesn't matter though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And go. Oh, what am I gonna do with? Gold yeah, now? she's on the wrong side. Damn. Well, there's this crane. Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of a canyon, and this is a rusty old crane for loading rail cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. Thank goodness. What is that? No matter what awaits me behind it, I'm prepared. This is beyond repair. Let's throw it out. Is there anything else that we can do here? Come on now. Yeah, but it's got Nothing. no power. The fuse is, is shot. So what's up here? There's a tunnel. Ooh, that seems to be a minecart. Shunting lever box. Junk heap. 
If I had planned to be a trash hunter, I would have stayed in Kuvak. In any case, I'm not going to rummage through there without good reason. Right, so there's got to be good reason. Can I get up to the control center? I'll save my telekinetic. No, I can't. Okay, what all do I have? I have nothing. Whoa, who's that? Hmm. A rusty drain pipe, chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. Prosthetic what? All right, what's in this metal hatch? The box is screwed shut, as if a hex bolt could stop me. What naive dunces. Cause there's a key there that looks pretty. Uh, uh, look, looks like something I would like. Hi there, Doc. What? Oh, hello. Who are you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? Uh, no. I d no. My name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across as enigmatic and threatening, but... <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed I was gonna all. say. Huh? I'm Doc, handyman, trash hunter, spare parts dealer, brain surgeon. I own a small store on the floating black market. You might know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head. Proper head, all the same to me. Visit Doc. Da 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 da. da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, Rufus, I know it, that one. Uh, I'm a handyman myself. Ah, a colleague. Very good. What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, yeah, that's pretty you. rough. Daring to try the impossible. I like that. There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand. Exactly. One who'd rather risk a bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. Kind I of. I like you, Rufus. Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. Let's do a thought experiment, in case a fellow handyman would face a problem. Really, just hypothetical. Handymen don't know any problems. Only challenges. Okay, well, I've got exactly a whopper of a challenge. Handymen <laughs> help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman's code. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife, lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. <laughs> All right, shoot. What's the trouble? But are you saying that if you boink another handyman's wife, that handyman is gonna boink you? My girlfriend has a malfunctioning brain implant. You've come to the right place, then. It has to Good. be destiny that our paths crossed. Does that mean you can fix it? Of course I can. Perfect. But not here, I'm afraid. Oh. Just bring her to my practice on the floating black market tomorrow. tomorrow right. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, crap. That's too late. No, no. You can walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. Oh, good! My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Two ah. years? Yes. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? My girlfriend is too heavy. Is that so? Well, I've just a piece of advice you need. Really? Yes. Keep your hands off women like that. All you'll accomplish is a strained pelvis. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Is there anything else? Uh, nope, Nothing I that think I that's it. Myself. Very well. You want a DIY for the win. I have to get be safe and visit me on the floating yeah 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 fizzy on the floating black market maybe we need to like try and use the mine bike huh. nothing I have to stop expecting quality craftsmanship everywhere well that's true oh, 
Oh, yeah. Exactly the right carriage for my princess. I'll sit here. Uh, where will she sit? Check. All right. So, Doc, any, uh... Ooh, halogen lamp. Ooh, wait, there's a signal light base. With a red light. No, I want that one in. I want the bright light in. So, okay, Doc, any idea about the, the mine bike? Hi there. Huh? What? Oh, hello. I have some more uh, challenges. Keep them coming. When the mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? Yep. What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. <laughs> it would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 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 shake. Uh, <laughs> you know, that always happens to huh? me, too. You better be happy that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? Right. No, of course not. I just wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shot. And what a stroke of luck. I just found one. Here you go. Awesome! Hey, great. This is exactly what I need. Yeah! Uh, What's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it, too? <laughs> I don't no, need no. your help. Nonsense. Fitting an avial power thingy. I, I can do that in my sleep. Well, I did that once. The next morning, my wife left me. Since then, I've given up sleeping on water beds. Is there anything else? Nope, Nothing I think I'm I good, thank you. Very well. You want a job done well, you do it yourself. DIY Damn right. for the world. I have to get moving. Be safe. Always use goggles. I just noticed there's a mirror up here. Which looks pretty handy. Alright, so. We need this power avial power inverter. Installed on the mine bike. Let's give it a try. Whoops. Oh, it's always the same with these uh, ravioli inverters. I don't think I, that I was good. I really don't think that was a Where's good it thing. Gone? Oh, there. And there. And there. And here's another part that looks the same. Damn. What's supposed to be a part of it and what isn't? Oh, great. One of these. Well, I think that's going to have to wait until next time because we're all out of time for today. Uh, but we're one step closer to Elysium. We just have to do some repair work and probably scrub her brain because her implant's no good and stuff like that. But yeah, we're, we're, we're practically home free. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and don't forget to press the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Form surgery. No money, use pieces of Isabella, money, specifically her brain, to prevent your death. Like you mean I'm not seeing a ghost, I'm seeing memories? Destroy your orbital station. Why not do it now? My survival chance increases if I do not draw attention. I don't think you have the power.